Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. So in today's video, we are going to be making something interesting. We are going to be making this car game over here. So look, there are these buttons. There is a forward button and backward button. So if you click the forward button, your car starts moving forward. And if you click the pause button, it stops. And if you click the back button, it goes back. And if you click this, you can customize your car. Look, now it's yellow. Now it's blue. Now it's green. And it's red. So, I'm going to tell you how to make this car game in Game Lab. So, let's get started. So, you open a new tab and search in studio.code.org slash home. Over here. And after you've done that, click create and Game Lab. Now this is game lab and then go to animation and new animation and you need to draw the image of all the cars, a blue car, a yellow car, a green car and also the red one or you can draw and you should draw a pause button and a forward button and a backward button if you can draw. Or you can just upload it if you already have the image on your computer. Or you can just choose from any of these categories here. So I'm going to upload an image that is already on my computer. So I need a grey car. I'll just rename that to car grey. Car grey. And another animation for car red. Okay, car red. New animation. And car blue. And car yellow and green. Okay, car yellow. And car green. After you've done that, you need your other buttons, your pause button. Oh, I forgot to click save. Your pause button, your forward button, and your backward button. But now I am all going to rename. Pause and forward and backward. Okay, now after you've done that, go back to code and sprite and i'm just going to make it bigger and add a variable sprite equal to create sprite 200 200 block here and put what you want your car name to be i want it to just be car and over here put 198 
1,198 and 297. The X and Y coordinates are, you could change it depending for your car sprite. And then car dot set animation to your gray car. Car dot set animation to car gray. And draw sprite in function draw. Then click run. And look, a tiny little car appears. But I would like it a bit bigger. So go to sprites and add sprite dot scale. And put your car name here, which one me is car dot scale. So 0 0.1 is the lowest scale you can get in car dot scale. So car dot scale basically works like this. So 0 0.1 is the lowest scale and 0 0.2 all the way to 0 0.9. There is no 0 0.10 scale. So the only way to get 0 0.10 scale, which is bigger than 0 0.9 scale is to put 1.1 then 1.2 all the way wait what did i do all the way to 2.1 just like that okay so that's how car dot scale works so i would like it to be 5.4.5 over here okay now what car is finished we just need our other buttons now so put pause here and create another sprite pause and pause create sprite 200 129 129 Wait. Okay. And set pause animation to pause. Okay. After that put sprite dot scale pause dot scale equal to to 0 0.3 okay now our pause button is on the screen we just need our back and forward button so first create back another sprite for back and back set animation back set animation to the back animation and scale 142 129 142 129 and back scale equal to 0.3 reset and run okay now we've got our backward button but our forward button is not there so let's create the sprite so forward forward 257 and 129 okay and set forward animation chain to forward and after you've done that set not again forward animation sprite dot scale forward dot scale equal to 0 0.3 and now we just need to create our yellow box yellow button 
create sprite 44 and 84 okay 84 now look this huge square appears but it's gray so first put yellow button dot scale equal to 0 0.3 so no set animation for this box. We are just going to change the shape color to yellow. So add shape color of yellow. Yellow. Button. Shape color. To, you always need to add two quotes and add shape color yellow reset and run now look our red but our yellow button appears now we just need to create our blue button our green button and now our red button so go to sprites and uh, create another sprite for blue button and put 154 and 44 okay and put sprite dot scale blue button dot scale equal to 0 0.3 and blue button shape color blue button shape color equal to shape color equal to blue and reset and run Okay, now look, our blue button appears, but it does not do anything. So, I'm going to tell you how to make it do something at the later on in the video. So, after you've done blue button, you just need to create the green button. Green button. And here, 226. Hmm. 44 and over here green button okay green button scale equal to 0 0.3 after you've done that get shape color green button shape color okay green button shape color double quotes and green reset and run and now look our green button appears now we just need to create our red button so go to sprite and add another variable sprite and put red button this time and put over here 200 98 and 44 and no set animation and sprite dot scale red button scale 0 0.3 shape color red button shape color 
red with double quotes. Reset and run. Okay, now look. All of our buttons are here, but they don't do anything. So, let's make them do something. So, first you go to function draw and go to drawing and put your background color here. Inside function draw at the very top. So, for me it's white. And then go to sprites. Now go to control and uh, get an if condition and get a mouse pressed over sprite and put red button here and go to sprites and car dot set animation to car red and now look our car is red so now we just have to do the same with every other button so let's do it so the shortcut way is to click plus plus and minus and you've got an else if and then go to world and mouse pressed over over here put blue button set animation car car blue and after you've done that plus plus and minus and world mouse pressed over sprite green button sprites and set animation of car sprite to car yellow no car green okay and plus plus minus and world and mouse pressed over and yellow button and set animation of car to of car to car yellow okay after you've done that click run and look now we can customize our car and new where we want so, but the buttons don't work these backward forward and pause button don't work so let's make them work so plus plus minus and else if and mouse pressed over sprite pause pause set velocity x of car to be zero Okay, now plus, plus, and now put here, go to world and mouse pressed over sprite, back. Okay, go to sprite and velocity x, car velocity x equal to 4, minus 4. Okay, and after you've done that, click plus plus and minus, and now we just need to do it for the forward button. So, if mouse pressed over sprite forward, then go to sprite and sprite dot x car dot velocity x. Just four. Okay, now look, our car goes left and right and it stops. And you can customize your car, but it goes out of the screen when you go left or right. 
and it only comes back if you just click the backwards button like this so let's make it go in a continuous motion just like this like this like this so let's make it go in that kind of continuous motion so click plus and plus again and minus and another else if and sprites and go to math and more than greater than sprite dot x car dot x greater than 400 then sprite dot x car dot x equal to zero can now look it will go in the continuous motion i was talking about look it just comes back again it does not go out of the screen okay now let's do it for the backwards button so plus plus and else if go to world not world sprites and less than and go to sprites and sprite dot x car dot x less than zero then car dot x equal to 400 okay now we have created one car game where you can customize your car. Look, and now it does not go out of the screen anymore. Okay, so now you, we have created one car game where you can customize your car. You can move forward, backward and you can pause. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. But before you leave the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel like the video and if you have any suggestions for me feel free to leave them in the comment section below bye